Hi, this is Anna from JustPaint.com. I am going to do a tutorial using some of the fantastic metallic colors that are put out by Diamond Effects. Um, I'm so excited because, I'm always so excited, but this reason I'm excited is because uh, our face painting book is here. I made a face painting book with step-by-step -step tutorials for people that are new to rainbow cakes. So, we sent in the last strap and it's going to be coming back in about five days and then it should be up on our site at justpaint.com yay this design was coming out of the brain of my most amazing husband Santiago and oh, I lost the sponge um, so he came up with it the other night, and I'm just going to try to recreate it on my own head. Alright, here is my new discovery. Metallic green and metallic pink red fuchsia. It has many color names now. Mixed together creates amazing color combinations like you wouldn't believe. It can go anywhere from a dark blue to a pinkish purplish blue to a super funky bright purple and it's very amazing so who knew mixing pink and green could create all these wonderful shades I got some pink on here and then I added some green and I will just show you the gradient it goes for like shades. So we're going to use that in part of the design. And I'm also going to use the wonderful, glorious, amazing metallic white that can make any face super shiny. And I'm going to start by putting white around one eye. I don't know if you've seen like the palm tree face that Mark Reed does, but he just does a half of a face like this. Or and it's a wonderful little Mardi Gras idea too. Then I'm gonna take a section of the face. I'm gonna put some metallic green right on the side of my eyeball, just a real little bit on the edge of my sponge. I need a mirror for this, my goodness. Um, And I'm going to blend it back in to the metallic white. So I've got a little shiny patch of color there. Then up here, I'm going, uh oh, I still got green on there. I'm going to take some of the metallic pink and blend, put it up on the outside. And if you flip it over to the dry, clean part of your sponge, or if you take the metallic white sponge, you can blend it in. The metallic white mixed with the metallic fuchsia pink red is really, really, really amazing. Okay, so let me check those colors out. Ooh, I got really strong in one spot. Okay. And then, so I'm going to put a little bit of pink and a little bit of green on my sponge. Oh my. Whoa, check that out. Look how shimmery this is. Oh, definitely I'm doing my own version of his version. And then I'll take a little baby blue, metallic baby blue, and find a happy place for it and be right on the inside of my eye. Wow, this is a lot of crazy colors. And to see it in real life is really exciting because you can see really how shimmery it is, but even in the computer you can get an idea of how shimmery everything is. Now, what Santiago did, which I thought was genius, is he took black lines, just simple, simple black lines, no swirls, no twirls, And then he outlined them with bronze and metallic white. Whoa. 
start at the crack of the eye and just swirl out back at the crack of the eye and outline it. I might think about putting another one in. I might not. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, I'm really going crazy now. If you have a spot with your makeup that you don't like anymore, you can take a wet sponge. Unless it's black, you might have a problem cleaning it off with a, a wet sponge really smooth. Um, otherwise, you can do that. And then, I have a hard time with open edges, like straight open edges, so I'm just going to close them off with a little bit of a swirl and twirl. And then might fill it in. So wherever you feel, oh, I'm going to go crazy. Okay, it's a really webby design. Wherever you feel that you, a, the design, a line would go really great, just put it there. Okay, and this is the final part. You just go along the black lines with metallic white on one side and bronze on the other, and then it's just like super, super cool. I want to do a lot more tutorials, but sometimes I have a hard time coming up with ideas. So if you have some ideas, if you sent me an idea before and I never got around to it, I was probably going through a really busy time. Um, but now I kind of have a little bit of free time at home. My daughter's going to be going to school in September, so I have even more free time. That would be awesome to do tutorials that you want to see. So let me know, email me, and I will try to do them. If I feel like there's already a hundred of them out there for a particular design, I might give you an idea of where those ones are that you can go check out. But I can always do my own version. If there's a hundred cats out there and you want me to do a specific kind of cat, like a uh, crazy man-eating cat or something like that, you could do it. It's really light. You can't see it so much from a huge distance, but when you go up close, it adds so much cool color and something different to black line work. It's too bright. just half of my face, but you could do this all over the face. So basically we sponged on white, we shaded in some different colors of metallics on the outsides, and then just went wild with some super duper black and white and metallic bronze. Ooh. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. So moisturizing. The metallic paints are like moisturizer for your lips. I put them on the other day and they just felt like my lips were permanently moisturized. At least the uh, metallic white is super, super moisturizing. I have a white spot in my lips. Something different. And then I'll put a green lip up top. I don't really have any abstract designs like this on my face paint board, but I think I'm going to add them and the kids can choose their own colors and then I can just kind of go crazy um, doing more of these Cirque du Soleil kind of Mardi Gras wild eye masks. Please leave some comments and if you really love the metallic paints, you can go to JustPaint.com and try some of them. They're just astounding. And you can check out my blog, um, my Flickr, anything you want to. And if you want to be my friend on Facebook, let's be friends. Look up Anna Walensky. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.